it is with with uh, great sadness that I do have to um, say that Larry Green of the uh, Mulem, the green part of Muhlenberg Green is has passed yesterday uh, with his family next to his side. Um, but I just do want to do a quick montage of remembrance of how influential Larry was for the city of Reading uh, and how Larry led MG Architects in their involvement in a majority of the redevelopment that occurred in downtown Reading from 1976 to 1988. Starting here with Penn Square, Larry Green and nine other engineering and construction firms formed a development group which was responsible for the design and construction of the 10 story building at Six and Penn. They eventually sold this building to Meridian Bank. After this, Larry and the firm designed the Six and Court Street building. Uh, the Seventh and Penn building for General Battery, also known as Exide. Uh, he then moved down to Penn Street and designed the CNA building. Uh, he also renovated and uh, designed additions to the two bank buildings on 5th and Washington. Uh, Muhlenberg Green Architects then moved back up to 6th and Penn, uh, along with Meckel Cornbull, were the architects for the bank building at the where the uh, former Pomeroy site was. It's now um occupied by Wells Fargo. Uh, our firm was also involved with the historic rehab of the former CNA building at 4th and Washington, which is now known as the Madison. Uh, Lee is going through another major renovation there, as we know. Uh, the former Berkshire Hotel at 5th and Washington at the Berkshire. Um, when Larry was hired by Fred Muhlenberg, uh, back in 1960, he did become the, a partner in 1965, and that's how we got our name. Um, he was always hardworking, also known for fun, uh, his desire to share, and his outreach to the community. Uh, Lee, I was hoping you could help me with a couple of people in these pictures here. Yeah, uh, you've got... Uh, uh, Mike, who's okay on the top left hand. Um, I, I just wanted to pick you out, Lee. Okay, uh, there I am. Okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, okay, yeah, there I am. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that was me with a real goatee. And uh, there's the late yeah, Fred Muhlenberg in, in, in the middle, and there's Larry in the back. Uh, what a crew! What a crew! Thank you. And I'm sure you've always heard about our holiday snowflake parties. He's the one that started that. And even though Larry retired in 2013, he did make it back to the office quite often. He was, it was doing at least once a week early on. Uh, later on, uh, he was taking a bus trip up here just to, just to hang out and delete emails, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I just want you to remember that when we celebrate Reading, Larry always has a way to sneak into the picture. I mean, he's in the background right there too. Yep. So uh, big shoes to fill. Uh, he did bla trailblaze us. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, it's going to be- Thank a, you, Bob. Thank you so very much. I would like to have a copy of that presentation because I was a part of some of those projects and just the the legacy and he was as i said to you in my email what a great mentor what a gentleman always first class guy never had a bad word to say about anybody was very constructive in his criticism uh even when he was mad at you and uh, that was pretty cool thank you so much and congratulations for carrying on the muhlenberg green uh legacy i think that is uh that is just a marvelous marvelous task you and your partners have taken on